Welcome to the Rail Passengers Virtual Advocacy Presentation. My name is Joe Aiello, and I'm the Field Coordinator for the Association. This video will guide you through the process of taking our usual in-person Hill meetings online. In this presentation, we will cover our legislative asks created by Vice President of Government Policy, Sean Jeans Gale, and our professional staff. This includes the Coronavirus Relief Bill, Passenger Rail Funding for 2021, and the Surface Transportation Bill Reauthorization. You'll then share a number of links and tools that'll help you become a better advocate. Finally, we will walk, quickly walk you through the process of contacting your elected officials online. In this first section, we will discuss a legislative ask for the remainder of this year and for FY 2021. Our ask is split into three tiers. Tier one is responding to the coronavirus. Tier two, funding for FY 2021. Tier three will be the Surface Transportation Reauthorization, also known as the FAST Act. This is our first ask. Last week, Congress passed the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security CARES Act. Within this bill, there is money for both Amtrak and transit agencies around the country. As you see on this slide, the allocation of these funds are shown in two breakdowns. Amtrak will receive $1.018 billion, and another $25 billion will go to public transit agencies. This will help recoup losses due to the decrease in ridership related to the pandemic. When it comes to a relief bill, our message is this. First, to say thank you. We need to tell representatives and senators that on behalf of the 28,000 rail passenger members, thank you for delivering for Amtrak, railroad workers, and the transit agencies. $1 billion for Amtrak and the $25 billion for transit was essential to the services I depend on to get to work and to stay connected to other parts of the country. Second, transportation keeps the U.S. economy moving. In addition to employing over 13 million people, the transportation sector is a foundational part of our economy. If we want to get America back to work, we need Congress to ensure that these transit agencies and commuter railroads are still able to move U.S. workers. Third is that passenger rail investment will put Americans back to work. If Congress turns to additional phases for relief. Passenger rail and transit should be a critical component of any economic recovery package. There are tens of billions of dollars worth of rail projects that can be quickly funded to create construction and manufacturing jobs for Americans. They will produce long-term benefits for America's transportation infrastructure. Our second ask is regarding funding for 2021. As you see in the chart, the left side is the federal money Amtrak is receiving through FY 2020 appropriations. On the right is what we as an association are recommending for the following year, which includes increases for each program, including a new corridor development program, and a significant amount towards restoration and enhancement grants. In addition to those funding items, we would also like to highlight our policy recommendations, which include ensuring continued service on existing long distance routes such as Southwest Chief and California Zephyr, solutions for improving on time performance, improving onboard food and beverage service, making it easier to launch new services and add frequencies on shared use corridors. Our third and final ask is, is for the Surface Transportation Reauthorization. In 2015, President Obama signed the Fixing America's Surface Transportation, or FAST Act, into law. The first federal law in over a decade to, to prove, provide long-term funding certainty for service transportation infrastructure, funding, and investment. That bill is now up for reauthorization. We are asking advocates to share our Surface Transportation Reauthorization blueprint between the current, between the current pandemic crisis an upcoming election, it is unlikely that Congress will be able to pass reauthorization this calendar year, but it is still very important to remind offices that we have drafted a larger vision for passenger rail in the U.S. Our entire proposal can be found at railpassengers.org slash blueprint. While a number of the, the last number of slides have been focused on federal asks, it is very important to still advocate for regional and state projects that will require funding from D.C. Some of the projects we continue to support are Daily Sunset Service, the North South Rail Link, Gulf Coast Restoration, California High Speed Rail, Front Range Passenger Rail, Cascades High Speed Rail Service. Now these are just a small example of the hundreds of regional projects out there that you can support in your discussions with your elected officials. Please be sure to highlight these endeavors whenever possible. This next section, we will describe some of the online tools we have available through our website. We have created a landing page through our site 
that you can find at railpassengers.org slash leg.resources. When talking to staffers and officials, this is the page we want, the, want you to send them to. This site includes everything we've discussed thus far from our three-tiered ask. It links all the papers, resources, and supporting documents we have published. The fourth item on that last slide was our informational one-pagers. These documents highlight economic benefits of passenger rail, rail's environmental impacts, benefits of high-speed rail, National Passenger Rail Network and Rural Mobility, Northeast Corridor and the Gateway Project, and performance. They can also be found at railpassengers.org slash blueprint. Our one pages are a fantastic tool to not only educate the office staffer, but as a way for you to brush up on your knowledge of commonly addressed topics in our attic. In this last section, we will go through how to use our voter voice portal to contact your elected officials and their staff. By going to voteervoice.net backslash NARP rail backslash address, you can find your contact information for every federal and state official tied to your home district. When you type in your information, this is the next screen you'll see. An example on this slide, these are the federal and state offices to my own address. So if I was to go through this portal myself, these would be my contacts. Clicking on the names will bring up a window with their full contact information, addresses, phone numbers, email, and websites, as well as a full staff directory. By checking the boxes next to each name and hitting continue, you will see the compose your message screen as seen here on the right. When you select each official and their email address, it will automatically be added to your drafted message. Whether you're using this portal to send an email or finding a phone number to call the office, talk to the front desk or transportation staffer directly, not only do we want to make sure that all the legislative asks are delivered, we want you to personalize this. If you had a past relationship with your official or any member of their staff, we want them to be present in your communication. Ultimately, these asks are to benefit your communities. We want that compassion to shine through. Our final tool to mention today is our Beginner's Guide, created by Association Vice Chairman T.J. Gersh. While this guide is meant for in-person meetings on the Hill, there are a lot of tips that can be applied in the virtual realm as well. How to craft emails, schedule meetings, and ways to follow up. They can all be found in this document. Our Rail Nation 2020 link has an overview of everything you've seen here, including asks, documents, links, and more. Once again, here are the links for our Blueprint site, our voter voice portal, and legislative resource pages. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to me, Joe Aiello, at jiello at narprail.org, or our grassroots organizer, Maddie Butler, at mbutler at narprail.org. To stay informed with everything happening with the Rail Passengers Association, including how to become a member, plus several of our other important tools, including Amtrak ridership data, upcoming events, and our weekly news hotline. Please visit our website and find us through these various social media channels. Thank you so much for watching this presentation. Stay safe and make your voice heard.